everyone. In this little video, I'm going to show you the LAC operon. The LAC operon is interesting, number one, because it's really important bio biotechnologically, and so I feel that you guys are likely to encounter it in the future. Number two, it's a great one to study because it's both positively and negatively regulated. So the LAC operon is an inducible operon, which tells us that it's going to be involved in the transcription of catabolic genes, genes involved in catabolic processes. So you'll remember that we're not going to want to transcribe this if we have glucose present or if we don't have lactose. So these are going to be our two control parameters. And so since we know that this is an inducible gene, we know that we're going to start off with the repressor protein just sitting on the operator because the default for inducible genes slash inducible operons, they work the same way, is no transcription. And this no transcription happens because the repressor is sitting uh, on the operator. If we do not have the substrate to catabolize, we don't need to be transcribing these genes. And so um, if we do have some amount of lactose in the environment, then you'll remember, maybe you'll remember if you've just watched the other PowerPoint, that um, this transcriptional regulation is not exact. And so even when we have it downregulated, we can still have sometimes some copies of messenger RNA produced. And so we are able to, if there's lactose in the environment, the bacterium can bring it in and break it down, even though we've still not actually expressed the lac operon fully. So if there is lactose present, then the allolactose, which is the metabolic product of lactose, is going to function as the inducer. So the allolactose is going to be in the cytoplasm. It's going to bind to the LAC1 repressor, change the shape of the repressor, and cause the repressor to detach from the DNA and go into the cytoplasm. Okay, however, since the LAC operon additionally requires positive transcriptional regulation, the RNA polymerase is not having the best luck at finding and attaching to the promoter because to be at its optimal transcription, the RNA polymerase requires the activator at the activator binding site. And so even though we've removed the repressor, the RNA polymerase is still just kind of hanging out. It's not attached to the promoter and it's not transcribing the gene. Because the cell wants to make sure, number one, that there's not only lactose present, but also that glucose is absent. And so in the cytoplasm, we have the inactive activator, the cyclic AMP receptor protein, which can be abbreviated CRP or CAP. So this inactive activator is going to become activated when there is cyclic AMP present. So cyclic AMP, you'll hopefully remember, is produced when there's a low amount of glucose in the environment. The group translocation process that brings in the glucose instead shunts itself and produces cyclic AMP instead. So the presence of cyclic AMP is the signal for low glucose. And so the cyclic AMP inducer is going to bind to this inactive activator and change its shape. This changed shape activator is going to then bind to the activator binding site. The RNA polymerase then says, aha, and it can easily, oops, easily find the promoter, attach to it, and then move down and transcribe the LAC operon. Right? Come on. So if glucose is absent, the activator will be present. If lactose is present, the repressor will be absent and will get transcription. If glucose is absent and lactose is absent, say that we're putting these guys in, I don't know, the urea test or something, so there's no sugar at all for them. Well, okay, it's a bad example. There's actually glucose in that one. Say we're putting them in the citrate test where the only sugar is citrate. So then we're going to have 
the activator present because there's no glucose, but we're also going to have the repressor present because there's no lactose. And so then the RNA polymerase can find and bind to the promoter, but it can't go. So in this case, we still get no transcription. We must both have an absence of glucose, which gives us cyclic AMP, and also the presence of lactose as allolactose, which is going to remove the repressor in order to get transcription.